Hey. We have a paintball gun. And we're gonna open this box here in just a second. Uh, we're gonna wait for people to show up a little bit. Um, hopefully I look good. I feel like I'm really bright right now. Maybe a little bit of a blue tint to my face. Um, I don't know. Um, it's very early. This, I've never done a YouTube live stream this early. No, I guess we have. Uh, I guess I've done a stream uh, at the paintball field earlier than this, but never like uh, in the middle of the day at this location. Typically always at a field. Hello, Jack. Jack skilling, I thought they said sailing, and then I thought it said skiing, and then I was all confused. Someone said do an ion review. Uh, nope. I, pr I, can, I, can, I can say with confidence uh, that it's very unlikely uh, that I will ever be doing a review on an ion. Ions at this point are like, Oh, 10 years old or something like that. Um, so it's not likely. Uh, Mateo says, do you like the fact that the M3S has no LPR? I have no idea. Uh, I really, I feel like I'm really out of frame too. I really don't know. Uh, I haven't used it. I haven't touched it. As you can see, this box has never been opened. Uh, I've never touched one before in my life. Uh, this was overnighted. Standard overnight delivery from Dai in San Diego, California. Uh, but, um, I'm only in Sacramento, so it's only like yeah, 700 miles. So it's not like super, super crazy. Thomas, Thomas says it's 732 in Ohio. <laughs> Brazil, or should I say Brazil? Brazil. Um, Brazil's way cooler than Ohio. I'd much rather be in Brazil than Ohio. Sorry, Thomas. No offense. Uh, where we got Hawaii. Maybe doing these streams um, earlier, get people around. Hawaii, Germany, where's everyone from? Let me know where you're from. I wanna see where everyone's from. Uh, Jamie says start. I'll start when I want to. I'm, we're just gonna read wherever it's from. I'm curious, then we'll start this thing. Missouri, Rhode Island, Southern California, North Korea, I don't believe that. Um, Puerto Rico, Pennsylvania, Washington, Colorado, Canada, Orlando, Florida, California, Texas, Canada, Colorado, Brazil, Maui, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico would be cool. Uh, Long Beach, Alabama, Alabama, I'm gonna start. Canada, lots of Canada. Ontario, I assume Ontario, Canada, not California. Massachusetts, Manhattan Beach, Missouri, Notre Dame, Tennessee, Texas, South Korea. That's more. That's more. Uh, you know, realistic. Austin, Texas. You know, Austin, hmm. Pennsylvania, A.K.A. the worst weather. Uh, A.K.A. Yeah. I don't know. It's 80 degrees today outside, guys. 80 degrees. Um, are you going to Hawaiian Legends put on my... No way. I can't afford that. You guys always ask me if I'm going to go to these crazy events that are like super far away. They're going to cost me like $1,500 to go to. I'm not paying $1,500 to go to a big game. I'd love to go to Hawaii, but if I went to Hawaii, uh, it wouldn't be to play paintball. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so opening the first part of this box, we have the invoice. That's a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna use our trusty pocket knife again. Um, well, maybe actually, I think I have something better. Hold on. Did knock the recorder off though, so hopefully we still have sound. Okay, oh, this chair's up high. We're sitting up higher than normal. Normally we're ground level, 
This is not coffee, that's water, so we're gonna leave that. Okay. A knife. Okay. I don't know, we're not gonna really need this knife all that much, I hope. There's a box. Opening a box. We have a FedEx. This is a packing list. We don't need that. A Proto Rise book. So this is on my dealer account. This is why I get all this nonsense. I don't really need a check out what a Proto Rise is book. I don't really care about that thing. Uh, some die stickers. Not bad. Uh, they look at all the tactical stickers because it's got all like the die tactical stuff on it. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. We're going to get rid of this box. Hit a light. That didn't work. Okay, so this is um, the M3S uh, Moss Air CF Charger plus Tech Mat. That's what it says in the back. Oh, that's what the. So this is coming in two different two different plops. You can see that the the charger mat deal is on the bottom there, and then the gun is actually right there. Okay. Someone said sweet NT. It's kind of true though. A little bit. Is there a stream elements bot is running? Okay. So I've never actually touched one of these. I'm more curious about this like hands-free charger mat. We're just gonna open this first since it's like the first thing I have in my hands. Uh, are traps gay? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand some of the people that like comment on things on the internet. It's kinda like man, you got like nothing better to do. Woo, okay that's not very exciting. It's just a piece of foam. I honestly know nothing about these charger mats. Uh, a piece of foam. There's your actually. There's your actual charger. I guess you're supposed to like use this foam and like rest it on the gun. I don't know. That's stupid. Okay. Are you getting a CS2? Someone asks. Um, I don't know. I've been trying. Maybe this. Maybe next week. I don't know. I talked to more people about that today. I've been trying to get them. Uh, no, they've just been really bad about. I don't know. You know. How the hell does this thing go back in there? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Okay. We're taking off the cardboard sleeve. Case feels nice. It feels better. Is it bigger than the M2 case? I don't know. So that's the wireless charger, if anyone's asking. Yeah, you, you just plop the gun on it. Okay, so these do come with uh, multiple things now. So we're getting more than just like gun in these. So you're getting uh, two barrel backs, uh, the 684, and I'm assuming 688. It's probably not marked though. So 684, 688 uh, barrel backs, that 14 inch barrel tip. Um, that's the USB manual thing. It's kind of stupid. So it's actually a USB deal. It flips around. You can plug it in the computer. Um, the old ever die parts kit. There's that USB cable. So you're getting, I forget what these come with. Um, yeah. Micro USB cable. Uh, and then a, another micro USB cable. This is like a extender deal so you can put new firmware on this and then you plug it into there and then you can like update the firmware. Yeah. Okay. Barrels, barrels, warranty card, barrel cover. This is their quick start manual which actually is pretty useful. Um, yeah I like how these come in there. It's got a bunch of info on there. You can see like O-ring sizes and all that jazz on there. Okay. Comes with the die tool, the die multi-tool, which I like a lot. Um, I use one of these all the time. Die multi-tool. Uh, I've talked about those quite often. Okay. Grease. 
I'm gonna leave that out. Okay. Oh, it feels heavy. The M3S. Um, I don't know. This is really the first time I've ever touched one of these things. So this is all new to me. Um, I don't know. It does feel heavy. We're going to cake this off. I don't like these. So I hate how die does this and they put a warning on there. So it's actually like a warning label. This says you might kill yourself if you use this wrong. Kyle Harper with a super chat. We actually set the super chat up. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. But we're going to actually fix the super chat sound. And we're going to do it again. Thank you. M3S. Um, there's that new bolt system. Um, there's no question it's smaller. And I definitely like that size quite a bit more. Um, it feels good. I think that one of the, the problems I've always had with die guns is they kind of felt like cheaper and I do feel like the the grips are a little bit more solid um, than M2 I could be completely wrong not M2 yeah no M2 um, I'm gonna do that um, stop there um I don't know I don't know what to say about it um, it feels, I guess, as you'd expect. <laughs> I don't know. It feels just like an M2 to me. Um, yeah. It's got uh, an OLED screen on there. Yeah. David David the Cat says, I can't afford that buy. Okay. See you later. How long has this video been going? Uh, there should be somewhere around... Uh, in your YouTube thing that tells you how long this has been going. Not that long, maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 8 minutes. I don't know. Um, the trigger sounds weird. I don't know. John, Josh Wesley, thank you for the super chat. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to say about this thing. Um, it's an M3S. Uh, I'm going to try to use this tomorrow. I'm going to try to maybe not use it, uh, but I want to go shoot it and kind of mess with it around, mess with it uh, at a paintball field. Probably go, I'm going to try to go uh, out to Extreme Paintball uh, in Modesto. You know, it does seem nicer though. The feed neck lever is different. I don't know if they've ever talked about that. The feed neck lever is definitely different. Yeah. Yeah, Curtis. Curtis says, but first we're going to super chatted the howling wind. Well, thank you, sir. Or ma'am, Adidas person. Um, yeah, so Curtis said, it's kind of boring. Why don't this focus? There we go. Um, Curtis says, it's kind of boring. Dye needs to spice it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I hear you. It, it is very similar looking to the M2. Uh, that's kind of what I don't like. I think that uh, the gun's different enough. I think that Dye could have made it look different and then would have, I don't know, just made the gun feel a lot different, you know, and just be new. But it is completely different, right? Like, uh, there's a lot of things different about this uh, comparatively to you know, the M3 or the M2. I mean, the whole bolt's different. Like they got rid of the, the LPR, like it's considerably different gun. So um, I'm curious to see how the thing works. Enrique, huh. you said, thank you. Do you get the same amount from stream elements as Super Chat, question mark? Prefer one over the other? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm actually probably going to get rid of that stream elements thing. I mean, I don't know. I've been messing with this Twitch thing. That's the only reason there's a stream elements account. Um, well, for certain, get way more money from stream elements. Because <laughs> uh, this super chat thing, YouTube takes 30% of every super chat. 
Uh, and then the stream elements takes, I don't know, fractions, like 4% or something like that. So it's considerably different. But I want people to do whatever they feel is best. Um, plus, uh, with stream elements, it doesn't really show up in chat as easy. So I can't, like, see it as easy. So, yeah, you just do whatever you want. I appreciate you thinking about that, though. Very much so. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It is a lot different, uh, but it is it does look very similar. So, yeah, there it is. The M3S uh, die cam was the only color I could get. Uh, I initially wanted the blue. I forget what they called that. Um, oh, this thing's like so out of sync. Um, what the heck do they call the blue? Who who knows what it's what the blue is called? Like night wind or like I don't know what liquid ocean I don't know something stupid. Uh, I initially wanted the blue, uh, and then I just couldn't get it, so we resorted deep waters. There we go. That's what it is. That's why I was like ocean something, shallow waters. <laughs> um, yeah, that's initially the color I wanted, but they weren't able to get it me get it to me quickly. Um, so I resorted to whatever color I could get, and that was the die cam one. Going down here, I want to put the barrel on. We're going to put the barrel on it. Um, yeah. Angelo says, how is your dog? He is asleep. He's sleeping over there. So there's a barrel on it. Um, does it look better with a barrel? It's actually cool. I actually like the die cam one. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. It definitely feels smaller though. I mean, maybe that's just like crazy and it's not even that much smaller, but how much is this gun? $1,700. I'm pretty sure they're $1,700, right? They're either $1,700 die M3S die cam is the die cam one the die cam one is 1695 uh, the normal colors uh, like if you just want like that deep water color like the normal colors are 16 so they're uh, any of these PGA like these printed ones uh, are gonna be a hundred dollars more so. yeah. um, I don't know I feel like I don't know. A couple of things I don't like about the die guns. Don't like these on-offs. I don't really like the on-off. I feel like when there's air on it, or when, even when there's not air, it's kind of hard to press it. Like, you gotta kind of like, give it a little bit of like, muscle to turn the on-off on. Um, what else do I don't like? I don't really like how you adjust the trigger. Um, I mean, actually, I don't know. I don't like I don't like putting the trigger, like taking the trigger out and putting it all back together. I find that kind of annoying. Uh, how they have those two little like set screws on the side, not set screws, the conical, those cone-shaped screws that actually adjust the length of stuff. Um, hate the software. Uh, I've never really liked um, that M2 Moss Air software. I just find it super confusing and difficult to navigate. Favorite team. Uh, the Sacramento Kings. Sadly enough, that is my favorite team. Um, the screen looks good, for sure. Um, as Matthew said. Um, it's just like such a pain in the ass to navigate. I just really don't like how it navigates. It's just annoying. Uh, it's not intuitive at all to me. I think that they should have probably, uh, changed how the navigation works, but... Uh, they didn't. So, well. Man, I comment every live and. Y okay, we're going to read that again. El Huerto? Javier. Man, I comment every live and you don't. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's an answer. Uh, just because there's too many people commenting. Um, yeah, so I just don't like the navigation of said screen. 
Definitely like how they changed the feed neck. I feel like the feed neck's way better. I actually didn't like how the other one threaded in. I like how this is separate parts. So if you guys are ever used to um, die feed necks or have seen die feed necks, we're gonna try to get that to focus. I normally don't even use these focus things. See that feed neck? Um, it's quite a bit different than on previous die guns. And I like that. I like how they use that knob there over the feed neck, just like the thing screwing in. It's not as clean, uh, but I think it's way easier to like adjust and tweak it. So, Trigger sounds like two magnets hitting each other. Um, yeah, it very well might be. I don't think they actually use a stop. I don't know. CS2 or Die M3S, uh, that's the thing, right? Um, that Jake asked. Um, I have no idea. I mean, I haven't shot an M3S. Here's when I'm holding one. Uh, I haven't shot this. I haven't used the CS2 either, so. I couldn't tell you. Someone who's used all three of those might be able to tell you what they like more. Um, but, I don't know. I truly have no idea. All these people are like, CS2, CS2, you have no idea. <laughs> you probably have never touched one. And, probably never shot one of these either. Matthew Obringer, howdy. Does the inside of the marker have void VODD milling? I don't even know what that means. VOD milling? I don't even know what that means. The inside? I don't know. I don't know what you're referring to. I don't even know what that means. Try to try to not super chat me again and just ask, like, explain that in a comment, in the chat. Maybe I can maybe I can answer that. We'll see what anyone else says. He means odd, I think. Does the inside of the marker have odd milling? Some weird noises coming from over there. Does the back cap lock when you air it up? Yeah, so you can't pull the bolt out when it's aired up. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't know. On these guns, I don't. I assume you can't. I mean, you shouldn't be able to. On the old one, it did. I mean, I haven't tried it. I, I mean, I assume they would design it so that it doesn't. So my one thing about these guns, though, um, Check your stream elements. Enrique, all right. Links. <laughs> That's one thing, I gotta figure out um, how, we're gonna log into the stream elements count. But my one question, um, Matthew, again. Thank you. Again, I was like, you know, it's super chat again, just ask it in the thing and I'll, I'll, I'll look for you, but thank you. Uh, I got one yesterday, and on the inside it looked unfinished milling. That's not good. Um, like, you could see... Oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> yep. Like, it's an air passage. 100%. I know what he's talking about. Um, it's kind of like... Feels like a chisel, like someone was like, like with a Dremel or something. Yep. I don't know why. I wonder why. Because it's finished on top. I'm going to find that out. 100%. So, Matthew, in the review that I will do of this, I'm not 100% sure if it'll be up this Tuesday, but definitely by next Tuesday, uh, I'm going to get in touch with Die. Uh, and then we're gonna figure out why. Because the top is smooth, and then it it's smooth, it's not circular. So it's like circular, and then it cuts down a little bit, and that's where it's rough at. That is kind of odd. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Um, you can definitely see it inside there too. I don't know. Maybe that's 
Maybe that's there to help smooth air out, but then I'd think it'd make it more turbulent. Um, so I'm not really sure. We're trying to log into this stream elements thing. Bear with me. Um, I'm going to talk to Billy Wing. I will get a hold of Billy Wing. Uh, or there's another... I can't remember his name. I feel like an ass. But there's someone else at Die that uh, I've been in touch with um, multiple times that helped design this gun. So I could ask him. Um, I don't know why. Like, so on the inside of there... Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it looks cheap. I think it feels good. But I do hear you on the inside of there. But I think if we knew why it was like that, um, it might provide some insight. But thank you again for a super chat. Um, we'll figure it out. Because it's actually patterned. If you If you get your gun, look at it, right? So on the inside, there's diagonal lines and then there's other diagonal lines going across it so it might have something to do with airflow it might help decrease airflow or increase airflow in a direction i honestly don't know that's way over my pay grade i don't have a pay grade so it's well over um everything <laughs> i'll ask i'll try to find out though i will do my best to find out Okay, we're looking at stream elements. Am I supposed to, uh... Bam! Enrique! <laughs> I see you there. Uh, we gotta figure a better way. I gotta figure out a way to get that on the screen. It might have shown up on this screen. Uh, I might have missed it. But that's on a computer over there. And I need it to ping, alert itself to me. You asked. We're, we'll talk about this in depth. So this is gonna be the end... Uh, pretty much the end of this talking thing. We're going to talk about headbands really fast. You said, Enrique, do you get the same amount... Oh, nope, nope, that's not it. That's, the, that's your other... <laughs> Are you working on those new headbands barrel cover designs? I did see that denim material looks nice. Yeah, so um, definitely started um, on new headband designs um, here coming up pretty soon. Hold on. And I'm uh, going to get two things, right? Um, I'm gonna, the barrel covers are going to remain the same. So uh, the material that has been used for barrel covers. Uh, it, uh, Kyle, says, Kyle says it sounds like cross hatching. It's from the boring process. But it looks perfect. Like it looks like there's like, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's not like a regular pattern like this. There's like lines like they're long and then there's one cut that goes across and then there's long lines and then another cut that goes across i don't know it's hard to say but i, don't, I wonder why because on the inside it's super smooth it's like super smooth on one top and then on the bottom it's like rough so i don't know maybe that's i've just never seen them on a paintball ground so i couldn't tell you we're gonna find out though i'm gonna ask die we're gonna try to get into that so headbands um yeah so Headbands are going to remain, barrel covers are going to remain the same. So um, the material on barrel covers is going to be the same. That's not going to change. Uh, one thing that I don't like how like my angle on this camera, I'd like to be more in the camera. We're going to move that. Um, so yeah, barrel covers, uh, same material is going to remain the same. But I've looked into and we're going to get, I'm making, we're going to get denim headbands made. So um there's two things I'm going to try out. Um, Double-sided denim. So this is uh, a sample of printed denim that I have. This is going to turn into the new samples. So this is, this might focus, it might not. Denim that's going to be printed, or is printed. Uh, probably going to try to do headbands. Uh, double-sided with this so uh one you know double-sided headband bam double-sided uh we'll have black terry cloth against the head just like any headband right just like the the original like sandana stuff or whatever um but then i'm going to do a double-sided one and then we're going to do one with um 
black denim on the inside. Uh, mainly, maybe just to keep the cost down. Uh, I gotta still gotta figure out like quantity and like how much it's gonna cost. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in the trial stage. I mean, this stuff's good though. It's just like you'd expect. I mean, it's just like if any of you guys have. Um, you have like, you know, that like 10 ounce sandana denim or whatever. Um, it's pretty much just the same. So um, I want to fold this. I don't want to get this all like weirdly wrinkled and stuff. Um, so it's it's pretty nice. Um, so that's, that's headbands. That's what will be happening. <sighs> Picking that up there. Um, that's what's happening headband wise. I hope, I think, Enrique, that answers your question. Um, but that's a process, right? So this stuff, this fabric was actually printed in the UK uh, and shipped here. And I do have um, another company right now that I paid today, actually, um, to make some samples so I can see their material. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's get that smashed in there. So I think uh, in about two weeks here, I'll probably try to get samples made. I'm going to keep one, a sample for myself. Uh, and then there's two guys around here, Matt and Kyle, who always help me out. Uh, they're moderators here. And uh, they're also moderators uh, on Paintball Room My Life, like... Facebook group and everywhere. They're very helpful to me. They're going to get uh, some of those samples too. I'm going to send them samples. I don't think I've told them that. They don't know that. So. Not that it's that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, that's the unboxing and a ran random tangent uh, about barrel covers coming up. Uh, that's all I got. I'm going to go continue the work. This thing does not focus sometimes when I want it to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go continue the work on a video that's going to come out probably Tuesday. The Paintball Setup Wars auto cocker version. Yep. Dalton says, can you do a Q&A? That's all I do. All these live streams are Q&As. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, Shredder, when's the next time you'll play airball with barrel cam footage? I honestly don't know. I have no clue. Um, not this weekend. I would like to play. I keep thinking about that, though. Uh, I just need to go play paintball, really. Yeah. Alberto, is Stream Elements better than Super Chats? I don't know. We're, we're undetermined at this stage. Uh, stream Elements is better for me. Uh, the Super Chat stuff is easier for me to see quickly. Uh, so I don't know yet. I'm going to try to figure out... I want to figure out a way to get alerts. I don't know. Who knows? Um, anyway, guys, I'm out. Uh, thank you for coming by to this live unboxing of the M3S. Uh, eventually we'll focus there. The Dai M3S... Go. We're going to make a thumbnail for this stream, too. So we're getting rid of the chat. See you guys later. This is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. It won't, uh, it won't focus. There we go. Maybe that's a better angle. Bam. M3S. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Spin real. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, hopefully you guys are like, you know, going to have a fun weekend. Hopefully you got something planned. Uh, hopefully it's not just a bunch of work like me. I'm just going to be working on stuff all weekend. That's okay, though. Could be worse, right? Guys, keep it real. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend.